Hello, take a moment, read the problem, try it out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, it says, which of the following trig functions are correct given the secant of theta is negative 2 and the tangent of theta is greater than 0? Please choose all that apply. All right. So let's draw a y-axis and an x-axis. And our secant, what do we know here? Tangent is positive, but you can see that secant is negative. So a little sketch, all students take a calculus. We're not in the first quadrant because that means all the ratios are positive. We're not in the second quadrant because tangent is, is, is positive and in that quadrant, tangent would be negative. So we could be in the third or fourth quadrant. We are in the third and not the fourth because both secant and cosine are positive in the fourth quadrant. They're reciprocal identities, but secant is negative here. So uh, we're in the third quadrant where tangent is positive and everything else is negative. So we've got an angle. I'm, gonna do, I'm doing a rough sketch down here. I hope you forgive me. Where there is an angle, and it's called theta. And all we know is that the secant of that angle is negative 2. So I'm going to use a reference angle. I'm going to say this is our reference angle, which gets to the same terminal side and some point on there. And we can draw a right triangle around the terminal side. There it is, reference angle. And the reference angle and the original angle essentially have the same trig ratios. So we know that the secant is negative 2. What does that mean? Well, if you remember cosine, is adjacent over hypotenuse. And that's the reciprocal, it's negative one over two. So we have the reverse, we have the hypotenuse over the adjacent. So this side, the hypotenuse is negative two, and the adjacent is negative one. Excuse me, hypotenuse are usually labeled as positive two. Now we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this side, it's four minus one. This side squared minus this side squared, and the square root of that, it's going also pointing down on the coordinate axis, so it's negative square root of 3. Okay, so now we have, I'm going to redraw this triangle. looks like this. Negative 1, square root of 3, and 2. So we've got a 30, 60, 90 triangle, essentially, right? This is our 30-degree angle. This is our 60-degree angle, badly drawn by me. And, uh, okay, so the sine of theta is, is negative 2 over 3. Well, theta and theta hat are right there. It's opposite over hypotenuse. It's the, this is negative, negative square root of 3 over 2. No, that's the reciprocal. It's wrong. The cosine of theta is negative 2. Well, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's negative 1 over 2. So that's wrong. The tangent of theta is radical, is radical 3. Let's see that. That's opposite over adjacent, so that's negative square root of 3 over negative 1, and that is the square root of 3, check. And the cotangent is the reciprocal of that, so it would be negative 1 over negative square root of 3, but we want to rationalize that, top and bottom, by radical 3. The negatives cancel out, and we get radical 3 over 3, and that's it. All right, I hope that helped.